Hello, in this video, we will look at uh, text I.O. versus binary I.O. Binary I.O. does not involve encoding or decoding, and thus is more efficient than text I.O. Computers do not differentiate between binary files and text files. All files are stored in binary format, and thus all files are essentially binary files. Text I.O. is built upon binary I.O. to provide a level of abstraction for character encoding and decoding. As shown in this figure here, so you're going to see this is the character 199. It is now encoded into this three bytes in the file. When you read it back, you need to perform this decoding to get this into the program. For the binary I.O., you can write this data. So this is, this is the, uh, you write this as a byte. If you write this byte, it is represented as this in, a, in an integer byte, byte integer. So that is just one byte from the memory and directly dumped it to the file. And if, when you read it back from the file and directly put to the memory. In general, you should use text input to read a file created by a text editor or a text output program and use binary input to read a file created by a Java binary output program. Binary I.O. is more efficient than text I.O. because binary I.O. does not require encoding and decoding. Binary files are independent of the encoding scheme on host machine and thus are portable. Java programs on any machine can read a binary file created by a Java program. This is why Java Class files are binary files. Java class files can run on a Java virtual machine on any platform. From now on, we're going to use the extension .txt to denote, to denote a text file and dot that to denote a binary file. That is all for this section on text IO versus binary IO. See you on the next video.